Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of this video is don't change for women. Before I get into this topic, I want to remind you guys, if you're new, definitely uh, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> and if you've been here for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And of course, if you want to support the video, hit that like button and, um, you know, or if you just think I'm going to uh, give out another amazing video, hit the like button. You know, so, of course, here for me, I'm a guy here who's helping men and women have more wealth, better health, and better relationships. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, right now I talk mainly about uh, the relationships and dating and all that stuff. But it's all about what is best for you guys as a whole, you know, so you got to understand, I want to, I made this channel for you guys, you know, it's not about me, it's about you guys and what you guys want, so uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about, you know, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about, but yes, let us get back into this uh, discussion here, so don't change for women, you know, it's a very important uh, topic that I am discussing here because a lot of men feel like, you know, weak men, they feel like they got to do what they got to do to get the girl. You know, a woman says jump, they will say how high. You know what I mean? They can say their favorite color is red, but then a woman says, I don't really like red. They say, oh, well, my favorite color is blue, you know, because they know that's her favorite color, you know. So when it comes to dealing with a woman here, and all this good stuff, you do not want to be changing. Because at the end of the day, you are not the leader. And with that being said, that brings me to my first point. Women should always follow your lead. You know what I mean? If she is the leader, she is the one in charge. If she is in charge, she is more willing to leave. You know, and therefore, by default, she is not going to respect you as much because women generally, when they're in charge of a relationship and they're leading, they are not uh, <laughs> very, uh, uh, um, they're not very, um, they're not very, um, when it comes to, they're not very fair. They're definitely much more dictators. You know what I mean? It's all about them. You know what I mean? And those who are under them, they feel their wrath. You know, so definitely, uh, you definitely don't want to follow a woman's lead because that leads me into the second point. When you do change, if you do change for a woman, they inevitably lose respect for you. You know, because you got a woman who's already the leader. She wants you to change something that you really enjoy. Let's say you like playing video games. You know, she nags you about playing video games. And then you're like, well, you know, I really enjoy video games, but I really like her. And, you know, I don't want to make her mad. And then you stop playing video games. She will lose respect for you because she knows she has the power over you. And she knows if she had to, she could get you to change your life. You know what I mean? You wouldn't stand for anything because she knows you like her more than she likes you, you know? So when it comes to you and changing things that you really didn't want to change, she will lose respect for you and she understands that she has the power, you know, and that's the whole reason, you know, you're like her child in a way, you know what I mean? Who I know it's kind of maybe a bad analogy who you might <laughs> have sex with every now and then, I, I, but maybe not a child, but like an employee, but just somebody, it's just, you're a subordinate, you know what I mean? So... Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? That definitely is uh, not good. But then, on the flip side, my third point, you want to find a woman who lives by your standards. If you enjoy video games, you find a woman who enjoys either playing video games or is okay with you uh, playing video games. Or even if she's not okay, she's not going to get you to change your playing video games because she understands how much you like it. And you enjoy it. And she loves you and cares about you. And she still wants to make you happy. 
even though she may not like that about what you do, she will still just shut up and be okay with it because you enjoy it. You know what I mean? So you want women who will live by your standards. You know, also if it, you, you require a certain amount, level of, uh, of submission when it comes to cooking, maybe sex, all these different things. You don't want to uh, change your standards because of a woman. She has to change her standards for you. You know, you want a woman who will live by what you believe when it comes to the sex, the, the health, wealth, all these different things that you got going on in your life. You want a woman who will live by those uh, standards and help you achieve your goals, you know. But of course, there are always exceptions. And if you do change, and this is very big if, if you do change, Make sure you change because it will benefit you and at your own pace. You know, it is very important that you change because it will benefit you and at your own pace. For example, let's say you like to smoke cigarettes. You've been smoking for years. Your girl constantly nagging you about smoking cigarettes says it's bad for your health. You don't, you should stop doing it. You got stinky breath. You smell bad. Constantly nagging you for you. You guys been here together for five years or so. Constantly nagging you, but you still smoke your cigarettes with no problem. And then all of a sudden, you feel some tightness in your chest. It's a little bit hard to breathe, the co coughing up some dark phlegms. So you go to the doctor. Doctor saying you having lung issues. You having a lung disease, emphysema, some sort of lung issue. And she and the doctor says if you continue this, you could die. And you realize, hey. You know, I don't want to die. I love smoking cigarettes, but I love living more. So I'm going to stop smoking cigarettes. But there it is. It's not because of your woman. All the years she nags you about it, you didn't stop. But because your life was in danger and because you want to live a longer life, you decide to stop smoking cigarettes. So you don't, it doesn't matter what it is. And I mean, she could give you advice. She could tell you what she thinks you should do, but if you don't want to do it because you don't think it will benefit you, then you should not stop until you feel like that change will benefit you. And that way you will get respect for your woman. She may think you're stubborn, but she will respect you. You know what I mean? And she will still realize you are the leader and you the man. You know what I mean? And you're not going to do whatever you, whatever uh, she wants. You're going to do what you want. You know what I mean? Because you're the leader, you the man. You know, so that is crucial. Um, but of course, last but not least here, you must always be willing to leave if a woman wants you to change something that you don't want to change. Caveat is, first, you should have told her that you do not want to change that thing and you're not going to change that thing, you know. But again, if she keeps on nagging you, she keeps on trying to down talk you because you do it, you know, after you've talked to her once, you know, she said, oh, well, let's say, for instance, video games, you know, so, oh, well, you know, I really wanted to spend more time with you. You should grow up. Stop playing so many video games. You're too old to be playing video games all day. And I'll say, hey, baby, I love playing video games. You have to stop bothering me about the video games because it's not going to change. I don't care what you say. It's not going to change. So this is the first and last time I'm telling you, stop bothering me about the video games. If she continues to do it, then you got to be willing to leave because, you know, she's not going to fit into your life very peacefully. She's going to rock the boat. You know what I mean? And you do not want too many women rocking your boat. You don't want women rocking your boat or anybody rocking your boat, especially someone who's supposed to be close to you like that. You do not want her rocking your boat like that. You know what I mean? So if she's constantly nagging you and you got to you got to leave, you got to leave, especially if you especially if you told her once that you did. You wanted her to stop and she didn't stop. You got to leave. So. Woo, I appreciate y'all staying to the end. That is all I got for y'all. My reasons why you should not be changing for women, you know, 
Um, of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Let me know, you know, what y'all thought about it, whether you agree, disagree. You know what I mean? Also, of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about with the health, the wealth, and the relationships. You know? Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that's kind of it. You know, again, this this channel is for you guys. I do this stuff for y'all. I want to help you guys be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. You know what I mean? So, um, definitely let me know what you guys want to wanna hear. You know what I mean? But, um, uh, yeah, I guess that is it. That is it. Until next week, y'all stay safe. Always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.